Hello and welcome to this week's gadget show, Web TV and the LG Beauty. People are saying it's the sort of sensible alternative to the iPhone. It doesn't come with a huge, great, fat price tag or a stingy 18-month contract. In fact, on most contracts, you can get one for free. It also has features the iPhone doesn't, like a 5-megapixel camera and a built-in Xenon flash. It's a sort of development of the well-established and well-respected LG Prada, but without the additional branding. Like the Prada, it has a fully functional touchscreen. The trouble is, the iPhone's redefined what we expect from touchscreens on phones. It does what you want it to most of the time, and I quite like the uh, sort of vibrating feedback you get from touching the screen in most of the modes. But for some tasks, like texting or browsing photos, it really isn't effective enough. It just doesn't respond quickly. Now, because this phone has more than the Prada to control and because there isn't a proper scrolling gesture in the interface, LG have had to fit this clumsy scroll wheel on the back of the phone where it ruins the styling, it's very awkward to use, and also means you get fingerprints on the camera lens. Which brings us to the camera. Though it has five megapixels, frankly, it isn't as good as the one in Sony Ericsson's K850. The pictures aren't quite so detailed. The flash isn't quite so good. And on many of my shots, I found the focusing was out in spite of it having a very bright focus assist light. I'm also irritated by the fact that in most of the settings, you can't actually see the whole picture in the viewfinder, which means you can get things like your fingers in the shot without realizing it. It's no good at all. The camera is good, though, at video, and I particularly like the slow motion setting. It records at 120 frames per second, and then you play it back at the normal frame rate and movements turned into a sort of slow motion dreamy effect. Look at that. It's also very good as a phone. Actual call quality is very clear, and the volume's better than on most phones. But music playing abilities weren't that great, the sound's rather thin and uninvolving, and the radio reception wasn't great. So, overall, I'm not that convinced by the beauty. If you want a good camera phone, get Sony's K850i. If you want a good all-round phone, get an N95. And if you want an iPhone, for goodness sake, get an iPhone. 